Hey everyone, I'm Anya Esma and today I have a mental health related spread for you. You can draw cards with a spread, you can just journal with a prompt from the spread, go with your intuition, or you can also journal while I talk and that is in fact why I'm making this video. I've published this spread before on Instagram but I figured that some people just like writing down their thoughts while listening to me because I personally like listening to people and writing down my thoughts during that time as many of you will know so that is why I'm making this video so that you can hear the journaling prompts and write whatever first thing comes to your mind or draw a card for it and really work with them. So the intention of this mental health band-aid spread is to kind of give you a little bit of a surface glimpse at what can help you right now. This isn't a very deep healing spread, a deep shadow work spread, but rather it is about just getting quick action going so that you can have a good week or even just a good day or two, you know what I mean? So it's not really about the deep work, it's more about the quick um, fixes that can make you feel a little bit better so that you can get on a good level to do the deeper work that follows it. So get out your cards, get out your pens, I'm going to start reading the prompts now. The first prompt for this mental health band-aid spread is what benefits my mental health right now? This is essentially a call to examine your routines. Maybe you have got a hunch what isn't so great for your mental health and what you could do to feel better. This could be related to food, to activities, to mindsets, to anything that surrounds you, anything in this world and in your mind. So think about what makes you feel good, even in those dark times. And of course, cards, tarot cards, oracle cards, or runes, whatever method of divination you want to use can be helpful in figuring this out. Then secondly, we have what undermines my mental health right now. What is not good for your mental health? What routine or pattern that you're stuck in is bad for it? Or what food you're eating, what activities, what mindsets are detrimental to you feeling good. Then the third position is what power or routine or archetype or mindset can you call in to support your healing? Now, what I mean by supporting your healing is that this prompt is more related to the deeper healing stuff, but it's not necessarily the first step into that and now you have to do all of this shadow work, all of this healing work. It's just kind of a little reminder that you can carry with you about how you can start your healing journey and not just put a band-aid on your mental health struggles. Of course, this is no replacement for therapy, no replacement for medication in case you are in need of that, but this is just something that can help you get on a good track and kind of connect to what healing thoughts may be helpful to you right now. And then the fourth prompt is, what can I do right now to heal and get into a better mental space? So what this one is about, it's interesting, because if you are drawing cards for this, this is going to be very literal. Really look at what the people are doing in the card. Are they sleeping? Are they exerting themselves? Are they reading? Are they happy? Are they with other people? Are they alone? And really draw a message from that because this is very much about an activity you can do right now so that you can feel better immediately and kind of give yourself a little boost, especially if you're having a bad start to a day or you're having a bad start to a week or you're just having a bad evening, you can kind of get inspiration, what activity might help you get out of that or at least shake things up a bit and um, give you something else inspiring to think about. This isn't really about the big picture, but about the nitty gritty of everyday life, not the big picture healing, shadow work, etc. but more the how can I create a story today that I feel good about and that makes my day feel better and feel healthier for myself. 
I also have this spread on Instagram. I'm going to link that down below so you can take a look at it. There's also some more information down there about it. And I am also going to link my Patreon, which is full of more journaling prompts, of more spreads like this. And you can support my YouTube channel. You can support me creating videos and content about witchcraft, about magic, about psychology. So I would very much appreciate it if you check that out. And other than that, I wish you a wonderful day, the best of weeks, and I will see you very, very soon.